Hello. Yes. I'm wearing a hat. I'm wearing a hat. I'm wearing a hat because my hair is quite embarrassing and not that. Let me start talking about my dreams. Um, so I'm trying to remember because I didn't just wake up. I had to go somewhere and I do this all the time and I forget my dreams and it makes me so mad. But Computer turn on, I need light. Did that light my face up like at all? No. Hold on. Let's see about now. Ooh, a little bit. <laughs> Use your computer for light. And yes, my hair is supposed to be way more pink than this, like super duper dark pink, but I used a wrong color, so <laughs> just don't mind me right now because I don't look like myself. Jesus Christ. I don't even know who the hell this person is. But, okay. Um, I had a dream. <laughs> oh my god, don't start that. <laughs> don't start my video like that. Okay. <laughs> I should just start every video like that. What am I talking about? Because I did. Did he? Did he really have a dream? I guess there's two kinds of dreams, aren't there? <laughs> anyway. Beware my sniffles. But... <clears throat> I did have a dream. I made a weird quacky noise. Did you hear it? I can do it again. <laughs> Sorry. I'm um, a spaz. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, anyway, let me start. So, I had a dream last night, and I'm trying to pull it back together. I was trying to on my drive home, but then I got distracted because um, a kitten ran across the road. Like, Jesus, people in my area... You're making me break my teeth with the amount of anxiety. I am just like grinding my teeth over these people just leaving animals outside. Everything's frozen outside, you fuckers. God. But anyway, I couldn't get it. But I am working on catching another kitty that had a broken leg. And I think about it all the time. Well, I just saw it yesterday, but I'd been thinking about it. And I'm trying to work with the people on my road to catch it because the poor thing, like, it made me cry yesterday. But anyway, let me worry about that. <laughs> um, so, I did have a dream and it was like, I'm trying to remember the beginning of it. And I know a lot of these are weird and they do talk about like schools or malls. I don't know if this was a school or a mall. I'm... I think it was a school though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I do know. It was a school. So, um, I was like, uh, wow, my hair looks really weird today. Jesus, God. I need to maybe wash it or something. <laughs> um, but I was like, maybe if I turn this light on. Does that help me remember? No, it just makes my forehead shiny. <laughs> now I have no eyebrows. All right. Can I lower this? Oh, I can. All right, well, that's all right. But anyway, so, um, <clears throat> I was at a high school. And actually, it reminded me, the st like the structure of it reminded me of my grade school. But I, um, I was in, and yes, this is the fuzziest sweater. I'll never finish my sentence, by the way, because I have ADD. But this is like the fuzziest greatest sweater anyone can ever have so need me as your salesperson hit me up i'll wear your sweaters but they won't be in the whole thing because i don't have pants on <laughs> so i can't stand up but um anyway high school and i don't know how or why but let me this might be short let me just get straight to the point. <laughs> Finally. Um, I was like, I'm trying to remember what happened before. But I was outside, and there's like, you know, like exit doors from like Walmart or something? You know, there's just like this random gray door that's just like an exit, and it just comes out the randomest place, like our part of the building, you know? Well, there we had one. And it was in the, I think, I guess it was the girls' bathroom. 
Um, I constantly, I don't get up at night whenever I have to pee. This is like probably TMI, but like I normally just like somehow wake up and I'm like, man, I really have to pee. And then I'm like, but I'm having this great dream. So let me just go back to sleep. <laughs> And, and then my dream turns into bathroom dreams, I imagine. I mean, I think this is why I have so many dreams that involve bathrooms. I don't know, but that's my theory. So, I was um, in the high school, and I remember walking through the hallways, and there was, I'm slouching, there was like a, uh, oh, my other thing shut off. I was thinking, this little thing was so cute. But there was like a little, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, what do you, what am I talking about? A little, what do you call it? Bathroom. Um, and it was like, weird. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, I think the walls were meant to be the floors and the floors were meant to be the walls and how they were like designed. But it doesn't make much sense. <laughs> but those ones, like, you know how you can round a corner and you go in, you know? I mean, I guess that's most bathrooms, now that I think of it. They're not just a door into the wall. It's like you round a corner and you go in, but this one also had a door after the corner. So, I go in there, and there's like seven, I guess, I'm gonna say about seven other girls in there. And I'm like, for some reason I just came to wash my hands. Which, okay. I mean, I guess it's good I didn't go to the bathroom because I probably would have, like, pissed myself in bed. <laughs> I've never done that, by the way. But, going strong. <laughs> um, so, I was washing my hands. And then this guy comes in. Not the exit door that's in the bathroom. Because, I don't know if he had, like, done some research or whatever. But the exit door was broken. And... I knew how to get out of it because I am a bad, naughty little girl and I like to skip school. So I was like, I knew the little trick. There was like, it, like to everyone else it was stuck, but there was just like this little pin thing where like I kept like this little like screwdriver type thing on me that you just had to like stick in and like pull out. So, <clears throat> but I wasn't worried about it at the moment. But anyways, so this like, probably over, no, middle-aged guy comes in, and if you can imagine, like, a generic, like, mush, like, every serial killer, you know, together, and it's this guy, like, um, sorry, ow, that hurt, <laughs> did you hear it? Holy shiz, um, but, so, mush, like, all of them together, and you have this guy, and he's, like, balding on the top, you know, but his hair's longer on the sides, and it's darker hair, and he has glasses, you know, those, like, set, back in, like, when people used to get stole, kidnapped, <laughs> stolen, yeah, I guess they were stolen, but kidnapped back in, like, the, what is it, like, the 70s, or, I don't know, some of them back then just had them big glasses, <laughs> he had them, so, anyways, um, so he walks in, and he had a hat on, I was gonna say like mine, but he definitely is not as feisty. Well, he's definitely a little more feisty than me, I guess, <laughs> because he's about kidnapping people. But, um, geez, that's a weird philosophical thing to think about. Are psychopaths actually the feisty ones? Because they're considered to like not have emotions and stuff. I don't know, whatever. But, um, so I was like, and no, why does it, I feel like you're going to think I just did, like, a whole bunch of, like, no, no, snow. <laughs> I didn't. I just came from outside, and it's very cold. And I had the sniffles, and I should have blown, blown my nose. But, anyway, this guy, he was, like, uh, comes in. He has, like, a dark green hat on, like this, but with no ears. And he pulls it off for some reason. I was like, mm, look at my bald head look at how weird I am like something like that you know that's what I imagined well he probably wasn't thinking that I mean he wasn't really a person he's a dream but I don't know so anyway he was like um I think he came in he had like a plaid like a dark greenish plaid shirt on type thing 
and he was like, um, fuck. I know he talked, but I'm losing it. Damn it. I should have done this earlier. Um, <sighs> he was making a speech, okay? I remember this because everybody was like, wow, my scar is like killer today. Like, jeez Louise. I got hit in the face one time <laughs> with like a sharp object. <laughs> and uh, it hit me like this. And... I literally st have a scar across the waterline on my eye, and luckily my eye is fine, but I still have this scar. It used to keep my eyelid pulled down slightly, so I'm glad it's normal. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I was like, uh, he was given this speech, and he had a gun, and he had a knife, and he was like, I had neither, and he was talking to the other girls, he's like, everybody, like, get out of your stalls, and blah, blah, blah. and I was washing my hands, so I was like, it's like him, like, the door over here, I walked in, came over, washed my hands, then some over here, this is me, no, <laughs> this is me, why do I have to be, this is me, I'm just a pinky, um, and so he came in, and was like, blah, blah, blah came over and stood, so I'm over here, like off to his right, behind him just a little bit, I don't know why he'd leave somebody behind him just a little bit, but he was like, everybody get out of the stalls, and then they came out, so they're in front of him, and he's like giving this speech or whatever about like, you know, he's taking everyone, he locked the door so no one can get in, and he's taking everyone captive, and he like counted us, and that's what he did first, you know, he was like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know. And you know how the serial killers count. But they were like, everyone else is like so scared and stuff. And of course, I guess I was too. And I was, I remember feeling really scared because he was talking, giving this speech on how he was going to kill, he needed like, he just wanted attention, I guess. But he was going to kill one of them every, it was like two hours. And, um, there's seven of us, so I had a screwdriver. Um, you think it should have turned out a different way, but I mean, seven people, seven teenage girls just rocking his ass. I mean, even though he had a gun, really, like if they all just would have been like, if one of them would have been like one, two, three, and everyone's just like, bam, like, come on. But anyway. That's not what happened. <laughs> and so they see me like fiddling with the door behind them. And they're like, God, don't do it. Don't do it. Just do it. And so I'm like, I'm scared, you know, thinking he's going to discover me and just instantly kill me. But I don't think that would, I don't think they ever really do that when they catch an escapee, unless they're like actively running away. But his dumbass was too interested in his speech, so I was, I was fiddling with the door quietly, like turning like, boop doop doo, you know, and then I got it open, and everyone was like, I, why he didn't notice everyone that he's talking to, like, so specifically, all being like, what? I don't know, <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, that's what I saw. The looks on their faces was just about that. And he didn't notice. So I just, like, carefully slid out the door. How he didn't notice me, I don't know. He should have, because I was kind of in his line of sight. But he didn't. He was too wrapped up in his speech, I guess. I didn't hear the end of it. So as soon as I get out the door, I run. Well, even it slams behind me, you know, so then I'm like, oh shit, I know he knows now, and I'm like, oh man, I feel bad for leaving them, but like, what are you gonna do, you know, now I can go tell somebody about what's going on, right, so in some cases, it's okay to leave people behind, um, if I had an editor, it'd just be like, quotes, but, <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> uh, I ran, Around, I was kind of scared to go back in the school because I figured he would like come out of the bathroom, 
but I was like, well, the office is way up front. I'm going to run around where I am to the left. And, and there was just like, I kind of feel bad for it. I picked it up. All right. And there was just like this office, like I, me, running out straight. Well, to you, that would be this way. I don't know. There's a hair. But, um, to running to the left, through the parking lot a little bit, and around the left side to, like, the school doors. You know how most schools have, like, double doors? Sometimes the office is, like, in between them, etc. And this one's like that. So I get through the first set of doors, the second set of doors, and I'm like, shit, I'm being so loud. Even though, like, I don't know if anybody else saw him come in, I guess. Like, the fuck? They didn't, like see him walk through the school, but nobody else knew things were resuming as usual. And did I, what did I just say? U usual, whatever. Usual, that's a weird word. But so I got in the office and I was like, hey lady, like, it's always a lady, isn't it? I just thought of every school I was at and it's never been it was when I was younger but lately it's been men but like when I go to vote well yeah but anyway I don't know um so they were like oh my god like this is a prank and I was like no it's like I mean I was like go try to open the door if you dare but I'm you know, believe what I'm telling you. So you can't get into the exit door now. No, you know, no one's equipped to go. It can't, you can't go in it, like, from outside. It's one of those, you know. So now the only way in is the one door that he has locked. And he was mad. And somehow he had walkie-talkies, like, set up all throughout the school. And he had one. I didn't see it when he had it on him. So it must have just been, like... One of those things where Dream Me was like, how's he going to tell the whole school? And then it was just like, walkie-talkie, bitch. And so he was like, all right, um, I am here. And then he starts giving his speech and shit. And I'm like, listen, man, I'm like, you hear this one was in the office. So he had to have been in the office unless he had like little cohorts. But I don't know why the school is so dysfunctional. Who knows? A lot of the dream schools I have are. But, so, they were all like, oh my god, like, she's right. Like, jeez. And I was like, yeah. So, uh, he was talking to them, and I was just, like, mumbling to me, because uh, I don't remember most of it anymore. I gotta get better with doing this when I just wake up, because, like, I mean, I don't do a whole lot when I get up. I just, like, change my clothes and wash my face. But... Anyway, um, so he was, like, talking about how he was, like, I had seven girls in here, and he was just mad that one got away, and I, I was just, like, oh, shit, like, is he gonna, like, kill everybody now, you know, and <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, I didn't mean to just be, like, oh, well, well, sometimes it do be like that, but it wasn't, and I was, like, well, what am I gonna do? And they're like, put the, they put the school on lockdown. Everyone like, you know, like there's school shooter lockdown things you hear about. I don't know anything about them because just what I hear, you know, you lock the doors and turn out the lights and stuff. And they have me in the office and he's talking. He's like, if you don't get that girl to come back in here, then I'm going to, you'll hear a gunshot and that's going to be the first girl dying. And meanwhile, I don't think I really knew any of the girls that were in the bathroom, but I had one, my, one of my best friends from sc school back in the day was actually in this dream and it cracks me up because Taylor, if you're watching this, it was you, and that's hilarious. And, um, <clears throat> so she was, like, you know, she was, like, came into the office. I guess she left her classroom because she figured I was there. I don't know how she knew I was there, but she was, like, oh, my gosh, what are we going to do? And 
He was like, one of my girls escaped. Dramatic pause. I need her back right now. And if you don't, like, I'm going to start killing them. But he's going to kill us anyway. So I was told her that part. And they were like, all right, so here's the plan. The police and everything. Like, the police came, obviously. <laughs> and they were like, here's your plan. This is what we came up with. The police and the school. Here you go, student. I give you this weird device that was like, I don't know, it was like, do I have paper? Hold on, it was like this. And I have no idea why it looked like this. Uh, it was like, <clears throat> whoops, it was like this metal and there was like this little like button or whatever you know so it's tiny and i held it in my hand and they were like all you have to do he won't even know you have something in your hand you know just like act like your hand is flat you know like without the cap like and be holding it you know and we're gonna send your ass back in there and you can just have this little tiny knife and you're gonna go in there and walk up to him and he's gonna be like Oh, like, this isn't suspicious at all, but, uh, and you push the button, and it's like, you know, a, a blade comes out. I really don't want to have this on my hand for that long, but anyway, that's what it was. It was more like a razor blade edge, like, you know what I mean? Like a box cutter, like, it's hard to draw while not looking, so, you know, like a box cuttery type edge. And it wasn't very big. <laughs> If I had an editor, that would be in quotations as well. But, um, it wasn't very big. And so, I was like, this isn't very big. And I was like, um, how exactly do you think I'm gonna just go and They were like, just go for his, his neck, you know? Like, and I'm like, oh, simple and easy, you know? They're like, yeah, just do it. And they gave me like a walkie talkie and it's supposed to be all radio silence on, you know, but it was constantly on like them listening, you know, to what's going on. And so I don't, I'm mulling through a lot of it because I don't remember it and I'm not just going to make shit up. I don't know. But, um, I remember I did, I like knocked on the door and I was like, yeah, it's me. <laughs> Hi. And, uh, I was like, I remember I was like scared to death. And my best friend was like, she was like, how can you let this happen? Like, you're just going to do this, you know, like what? And I'm just like, I don't know. Like, am I supposed to just let him kill these people? Like, I was like, I, I, I don't know. And what to do? What am I supposed to do? What do you do? What would you do? You know, would you not do it and be like, let the police resolve this and possibly get other people killed? Or would you be like, I'm a badass. <laughs> My little tiny knife. And I'm going to knock on this door and be like, bitch, I'm back. And just walk up to him and assume he's not going to like shoot you in the whatever. And just get him. Just get him. He got got. So... Anyway, I was like, sorry, I'm peeping out my window. Um, I was like, all right, yeah, I have to. So I went and uh, I went down the thing. I have to slide out of here for a minute. Hold on. Oh, damn. Sorry, I got to slide back in. My bad. Because I don't have pants on, so I can't stand up. But anyway, so I was like, <sighs> all right, knocked on the door. My best friend's like standing like around the corner, like, you know, and I'm like, oh, geez, you know, and I'm like, hey, it's me. Hey. <laughs> and he's like, how do I know it's the one that, that escaped? And I was just like, I guess in my dream, I remembered I had oddly pink but not pink hair and you will not see what's on top I swear 
I will fix this before <laughs> you will ever see the top of my head. But, um, I was like, uh, boink, and I pulled some of my hairs out and, like, shoved them under the door and was like, you know, let him see my little fingers and was like, here, it's, it's my hair. I don't know how else to prove to you. It's me. And he's just like, okay, and opened up and, uh, and I went back in and he had his gun out. And he was like, you know, mad. But then he was like, all right. So he's starting to go back to his little speechy thing again. And it sucks that I don't remember this part at all. Like what came between this, like the, the climax, you might say, of the dream. I don't remember. In a way I do though. But I was like, <sighs> How do I think of a way to walk up to somebody that has a gun and is all whatever? And I was just like, I'm already walking into the room. So I was like, just do it quick. Cause that's what they said. That's what the police said. They were like, just do it quick. Just, it'll catch him by surprise. Just as soon as you walk in the door. So I was like, you know, I had the little thingy in my hand and I was just like, I slid it out cause he wasn't even looking at my hand or I pushed the button. And I just walked up to him as I was, oh, <clears throat> well, we walked around the corner first, and we were I see I could see the back of him in the mirrors, and I'm just walking up to the front of him, and instead of getting in the line of girls on the ground, I just continued to walk, and I didn't do that because that's weird, but I just continued to walk and just went up to him and was like, "Bam, because I know where the jugular is. Come on. I went to medical school, vet school still medical school but um so I just thought he would just die instantly I guess but that was not the case uh he was like ah you bitch ah, and uh had his gun and was like bam 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 wait bam 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 and I was like however <laughs> I tried. It's happened so fast. But I, before it was like bam, 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 bam. And before it got to me, of course, I was like, whoa, no, like, stop it. And, uh, what? He killed everybody. And for some reason, I don't know why, I was like soaked in blood. Oh, maybe like the blood came out of him. I don't remember it spraying on me, but I was like, I remember it was in my hair, it was all over my face, and I was just like, Oh God, like what the, and, uh, and then everyone's like, open the door, open the door. Cause they heard the gunshots and I go open the door and I run into the boys bathroom immediately. Like they just see me covered in blood and the police or whatever rush in or whatever. And I guess they're prepared now to go in. Fuckers. <laughs> uh, but, um. And so I ran into the boys' bathroom, off, you know, right next to the girls. And my best friend came in. I remember her coming around the corner and just being like, holding my head and being like, Oh my God, what happened? What are you doing? And I was like, <laughs> but yeah, that really was, I can picture her face and feel my head being like, Bleh. and I was just like, and then she's like, Oh my God, like there's blood everywhere. And I was just like, they all died. You gave a really bad uh, solution to the problem, <laughs> the school and policemen. And I tried, I tried to do my part, but why does everybody die in my dreams? It's so sad. I felt really bad. I really did, though. Even though it was a dream, you can feel mild emotions when you're not, like, lucid dreaming. Because I've lucid dreamed, like, a couple times, but... I don't know. I was just like, oh, jeez. Like. <laughs> That's what I thought. Um, and so, I think I woke up then. That's pretty much all I remember. I remember seeing all the girls fall. I mean, I guess maybe they didn't all die. Because if you get shot once, it depends on where you're shot. You know, you might live. But, uh... I thought they were all dead, because when I looked at them, they were all on the ground. 
unmoving before I opened the door for the police. And, um, you know, <sighs> what a weird one. <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> but yeah, so that was it. And I don't know, it's snowing and I, I guess I'm gonna, I have stuff to do. So I'm gonna end the video now, but yeah, that was my dream. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll try to do these, I say this every time, try to do these and remember more, but no one wants to watch that long of a video because I just go off topic too much, but I'm working on it, all right? So anyways, no one told you this today. I love you and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.